This Canva animation was a special request from one of my viewers. I hope I did you proud. I busted out the dust bunnies and here we go. Let's go over to Canva and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing I wanted to do personally is I'm going to change my background color to black. Just because if you see when stuff moves, you'll see like a blank part of the background. And we don't want to see that. We want to make sure that that's all covered. The next thing I did is I went into elements and I think I went into slate. And then I'm going to go into photos. I like slate. I just want something with a little bit of texture on my background. So when it transitions. So I found this slate right here, which is a blue gray slate background. I th thought it worked really well. So I'm going to put that in there like that. And then I want to turn the transparency down to about halfway or between 40 and 50, just to give that a, just a little bit of texture on that background. Now, since I'm going to use this background throughout my whole thing. So say you have like 10 pictures, you want to do this too. So you're going to just duplicate the page and make 10 copies. Here's another trick you can do too. If you want to, I'm going to delete this page. I'm going to highlight this page and I'm going to put control A and then I'm going to control, hold down my control key and push control D and I can make my copies that way. So I can make a bunch of copies that way. But for this, I'm just going to do two versions of this so you can get, uh, know what I'm doing in practice. So next, I've got my background done. I've got all my pages set up with that background that I'm going to use. If you want to, you can probably lock them in there if you want to, but I just didn't. Um, so I'm going to go into elements now. I'm going to go into my recent images, recently used. You're going to get your own images, of course, and I'm going to pull out the image I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this one for now, and I'm going to make two copies to start. I'm going to take one put it across the whole background like so. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Make sure it covers all your spots. So just pull it out till it covers the whole background. And then what you want to do is reduce that all the way down. Now I'm going to go, I want to animate this one. I'm going to go into animate. I'm going to look, go down into reveal. I'm going to put ink on that one. We want it on enter and I like splotch. So that's going to come and splotch in there. That's your first step that's done. Next we oops, I don't want to move that. Let me grab this photo. Now I wanted this to look like a photo with the white edges around it. Do not use the stroke style up, up top for that. We want to use an outline because if you use the stroke style in the animation, for some reason it disappears. So we're going to go into edit. We're going to go into shadows. I'm going to go into outline. I'm going to change that outline to white. And then you're just going to make it how thick you want to make it. Like so. And that is going to be your main photo. Now we'll animate those in a minute, but we're going to get the next parts done. All right, so I'm going to go back in my recently used. Uh, I did three, so I'm going to get three copies of this. And then what I wanted to do, I went into frames um, and what next? I used paper and blobs depending on the photo. So for this one, we'll use paper. You can use any frames that you want to. So I'm just going to grab uh, maybe like this one. I want it kind of torn on both sides. This one and this one. So we're going to use these three tears. So I want to stick a photo on each one. That one's got one. That one's in this one. And that one's in this one. This one, I'm going to go and enlarge it and highlight mom. Now you can put different pictures in here if you want to, but I'm just using the photos, the similar photo, because that's kind of what it looked like in the other video that I was shown to kind of mimic. So I'm going to just use pieces of these and I'm going to use this bottom one to highlight the kids. Let's see if we can make it bigger, bring them down, bring the kids in here and highlight the kids. So those would be my three. And then you're going to size them and put them wherever you want to.
I'm gonna put one here, and then I'll pull that down here, put that in this way. I won't take that and make that bigger. I'll make that more of a focal point, like so. And what we want to do is turn these down to about 50. That one's on 55, but we'll do 55. That's fine. I'm just quickly doing going through these. And we're going to put these in the 50s. So. Now for these, what you want to do, you're going to go to animate. What we're going to use these, or we're going to use tectonic for these. We're going to put te tectonic. And I'm going to take the intensity down. I'm going to take it and kind of put it right where the, the um, crown is. If you're a pro user. I want to go and take that intensity down to where the crown is on that. And then I'm going to click that the last one, tectonic, and down to where the crown is. Now we got our movement here, here. Now we want our main picture. And we're going to test these and make sure they're going over top. We want them to go over top. So we've got our main picture. We're going to go and animate with that. And then oh, what you want to do for that one is we want to use succession right here and then i'm going to turn that speed all the way down make sure it's all on enter and all the way down so and as you can see they're all coming together so the last tidbit was i'm going to go into elements go out of here go out of frames and i am going to put poem because the one that i was shown had words going across of it. So I'm going to go see all. I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to remove the background. As you can see, you can really, you can't really see it. You could use it this way if you wanted to, but I am going to edit. I am going to go in a dual tone, custom, change this to white, change this one to white. And then I'm going to place this where I want to place it. So maybe I want it coming here across them and then you can size it however you want you want a lot it coming up a lot a little and then i'm going to animate that with a, a pan i do believe i'm going to pan that no let's do rise let's do rise and i'm going to do it slow with that and i'm also going to turn the transparency down on that a little bit so it just kind of looks like it's in there almost like a scrapbook type of thing so, and that's it. That's our whole animation there in a bubble. Oh, I was doing that on the second page. Let's move that to the back one. Hold on. Spin it around. All right. So now let's watch our animation. And it looks a little wonky right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a second. I'm going to pause. And then I'm going to come back. I want to download it and we're going to see what it looks like. So I've uploaded this. So sometimes when you play it in Canva, it'll look chunky and it, it doesn't look, you can see it kind of stutter and stuff like that. But once you download it, it'll be smooth. So this is what the downloaded version looks like of the same animation that we just did. And you can see like it's drifting and everything like normal. So that. So don't be scared sometimes when you animate and it looks a little like choppy while you're in Canva. I don't know why it does that in the video editor, but it just does. And once you download it, it usually winds up okay. So don't be scared. And if you are, just download that page and check it and make sure that it's, it looks smooth. So like I said, when it comes, when you come back and do it and look at it after it's been downloaded, it's, it's smooth. And you can see that floating in there. So if you want to hang around a little bit longer, we'll do one more. Just so you can get that, um, the mojo down. So let's go into elements. I'm going to go into my recently used because we can do that faster now that I know everything that I want to use is in here. So we're going to take this couple here. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to put them at the background. Let's switch them the other way. Let's expand that to here. Make sure everything is covered. Take the transparency down on them. Then oh, what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and animate that with the ink. 
ink. We want splotch for that. Okay, so that should be done. Now I can go ahead, if I know I'm going to use three frames, I can go ahead and make my copies here. One, two, three. One, two, and three. We can do our main one. We're going to go and edit. We're going to go in shadows, outline, change it to white all the way up in the corner. Make the size a little bit bigger. We're going to put this in our corner. And we're going to just blop that down like this, like so. And that is our photo. Um, we can go into frames. Let's go down into frames. We'll go frames. Let's do, um, hey, where's my list of frames here? Let's go into frames, all frames. Let's do some blobs. Um, let's do this one, this one, and this one. And I am going to one in here, one in here. All right, come on, you move out the way, and one in here. And we're gonna take that big one and make it a little girl. This one of dad. This one of mom and daughter. And then we're going to turn the transparency down on all of those to in the 50s or lighter, depending on what you want to do. Then we just want to place these around. I'm going to turn that one up a little bit. He's a little ghosty. Then we'll go to animate. And we're going to do tectonic. Intensity down to the crown. Tectonic. Intensity down to the crown. Tectonic. Down to the crown. Alright, now we got those. We want to take this one. We want to animate that. We want to put succession, um, succession on that. We want to take that all the way down. The speed all the way down on that one. And then if we want to go ahead and put a texture on it. You don't have to. We can leave the texture off of that if you want to, or if you want to do the texture, I'll go back in here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to change it to a blue that's in the photo. Let's change it to like this light blue. I'm going to change this, take this down, and then I'm just going to put this over top. I might take it down even further because that's kind of, let's take it down to like just enough to give it a little bit of rustic feel I guess and then we can go ahead and look at our animation see once you get it down it'll take you no time to do one of these because you already know what you're doing see but like it's playing in Canva and it's like being really oh and I forgot to do the poem so I can go and grab this over here I'm going to just control C this control V this maybe I want it to come in this way I'm going to take the animate and on rise, I'm going to go this direction. So it's going to come down on this one. So I just changed the direction because I'm coming in from the other corner and I put it in the down direction. So if we watch this. Now remember this is Canva. It's going to look kind of choppy right now. But if I download it, it won't. And if I need to, we can, you can extend it. And make it play Like so. And what I'll do right now is I'll go and download this and we'll see this to make it make it sure it's not choppy. So current page done. Download. And I'll be back in a second with the downloaded video. Okay, now I have the video brought back in. Let's play it and see what it looks like. See now it's smooth and it's moving like it should, and it's not being weird or anything and choppy looking so that is just an easy way to do those like for the frames you could use anything you want for the frames you could put any other different photos in there 
maybe taken on the same day in different poses, that kind of stuff. But that's the gist of what this photo drift animation is. So thank you for stopping by. I love you guys if you made it to the end and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.